are in Yellowstone National Park and behind us are some geysers. And uh, how are geysers formed? They're, they are formed. Uh, uh, they're like this, like heat. The, the whole thing is a, a is a super uh, volcano, and any moment this whole thing can just erupt. So as um, a sign of the fact that this is actually a volcano, you will see a lot of geysers because of the heat coming from the inside of the earth. And these are uh, like Heating waters water. and water. Yeah. So you can actually smell sulfur. Uh -huh. There's steam coming out from the water. Don't you love it? <laughs> You're lovely. You're a lovely host. <laughs> this Yellowstone National Park documentary video. <laughs> in this area right there okay just look around okay you think the old neverland the, land, the earth is just a dead thing you can claim but i know every rock tree and creature has a life has a spirit has a name thank you for your input doctor that was very enlightening <laughs> <laughs> what else are you observing in this area that you're researching? Look. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? <laughs> so we are now here at Fountain Paint Pots. And what you see there looks like molten lava, but it's not. So let's have Dr. Arambolo explain what is going on. Hi, Dr. Arambolo. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me here. So what's happening here? So this is like a cauldron of different types of minerals. It's like powder that's coming out from underneath. And then the moisture, the steam coming from under is making it wet and pushing out all these materials from underneath. It becomes later on as it hardens, it becomes travel. And what is that rotten egg smell? That's sulfur. Is that scary. gonna be good for my skin? It could be. Really? You dip in there and then you will watch your skin revitalize because it will peel off. In your professional opinion, should I jump in? You should. Let me show you. I'll take a video of you as you go in. I love it. <laughs> Hello, children. Come follow me. There's something I need to show you. Just watch your steps, okay? We're walking, we're walking. We are now approaching the perfect cure for an illness that has really haunted the history of man. What is it, doctor? This is an iron rich geyser. So if you have iron deficiency anemia, all you have to do is to come here, smell the air. Drink the water, bathe in it, and your iron deficiency anemia is cured. Wow. See, I discovered it. <laughs> what about made you develop this theory, doctor, and applied it? Um, Have you treated so many patients with this kind of treatment? Um, not really, but I'm about to. Uh, however, um, I just took a look at it. And Did you right away? Just by, by looking at it, I knew. I found it. Your time is? <laughs> I swear, gun production has gone up too, you know? It's and you very... need it for? <laughs> now, hello. Here's another view of the water coming from those pools and it's flowing to the river. And you can see the different colors uh, that are deposited on the rocks. Very, very attractive for pictures and also pictures myself. 
so you can see it boiling. It looks like it's boiling mud. But, oh my god, it's so scary. You can actually feel the heat from here. It's, it is just so fascinating to look at. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine how hot that is? Um, Dr. Arambolo, can you check the temperature of uh, that sure. thing? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I would really like appreciate it. <laughs> it's about 525 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my god. That should be perfect for anybody's skin. Yeah. Especially for the skin of our enemies. You do not need glutathione. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way we like it. 